Good morning to CMC Espresso, your daily news update from the Frankfurt office of CMC Markets. Yesterday, the um, uh, energy department in the United States reported the second biggest weekly draw in UK and US, US gasoline this summer, which fits into the uh, summer driving season where there is a higher demand for gasoline. But that was countered by an unseasonal growth in crude stockpiles. So crude went down yesterday. And that was also driven by the news that Saudi Arabia is pumping oil at record high volumes in July and that added to worries about a global crude glut. The Bank of Japan, meanwhile, tries to identify why they haven't been successful with their monetary policy attempts. They just uh, published a draft of um, what they found out. And there are three reasons or three main reasons the Bank of Japan uh, sees as the, the, the root causes for why their monetary, po monetary policy didn't work. First is the fall, a sharp fall in the price of oil. Second is a prolonged hit to growth from the sales tax hike in 2014. And third is Japan's inability to shake off its deflationary mindset. Some see that as the precursor for helicopter money. So. The results of that um, review or root cause analysis could be um, taken as some sort of excuse and to tell the people, okay, hey, we've done everything by now, but now we have to do helicopter money because everything else didn't work. The Bank of England yesterday said that they will catch up their lost um, government bond buys in the second half of the year. So they will take time over the next months. They do not want to catch up um, on those um, on those uh, buys on the, on the gap actually in their QE program. Uh, they do not want to do that tomorrow or today, but they will take that time. Um, problem was that they have uh, um, started a QE bond buying program but the problem was that on the secondary market, the supply has not been sufficient because investors hold on to their government bonds because unlike their Japanese and German counterparts, um, no benchmark UK bond yields have fallen below zero yet. So there are still, there's still money to make. So investors do not want to sell right away. Then there was a study from the Bank of America and they found out that German invest or German companies do not like to invest because um, they actually have to uh, build up um, large pension liabilities. The Bank of America uh, found out that those saving, that savings of companies are a function of pension reserves and aging of the employees. So they found out that companies with an older employee or older employees actually are building up more reserves for pensions and they will automatically invest less. So that could be one reason for why there is deflation in the whole of in the whole eurozone. That's um, the interpretation of Bank of America. Well, if you look at the population in Germany, it's not getting younger, but it's aging. And so this trend, should Bank of America be right, should just or would just continue to intensify.